All right, welcome guys. Today's video, we find ourselves over here in the Tonnebury. So the reason I came over here is to see this building right here. We're at Ta Wat Tam Nick Thai. And it is where whenever the, uh, they moved the Emerald Buddha from Vientiane Lao to Bangkok. And the Emerald Buddha is like the most sacred object in uh, Thailand. It's at Wat Prakau. So they moved the Emerald Buddha from Vientiane and they were moving it to Bangkok and they stopped here as part of their journey. And King Taxon ordered that pavilion that's behind me to be built. And uh, that's where they housed the Emerald Buddha for a short time. And it's a really important place for the Thais. So we're gonna try to get in there and we're gonna look around and then we're gonna look at the rest of this little temple complex and uh, see what we see. Okay, so here is the little hall that King Taxon ordered built to house the Emerald Buddha. Now, I came over here before this place was locked up, but today we caught a monk and uh, he agreed to open up the temple, this little hall, so we could take a look inside here. You can see there's just a little bit of detail work over the top. And so you can see there used to be some murals in here. Uh, the murals have all faded off. And the roof is kind of deteriorating a little bit. Uh, and you can see uh, just a little bit of the murals over there. So here's the monk that agreed to let us in. And then you can see this, uh, this Buddha here is like the one at uh, Wat Li Li Lai over in Utong. And it has the elephant and the monkey that are offering the alms to the Buddha. Oh, this is really nice. And so this is where the little pavilion that they had built to house the Emerald Buddha that's at Wat Prakau now. Oh yeah, this is really cool. So uh, they, whenever they first moved the Emerald Buddha to right here to rest when it was coming back from Vientiane, they uh, had three days of celebrations. And that was uh, important to the Thai people. Yeah, this is really neat. Yeah, this hall is in bad shape, but still pretty pretty cool that it's as old as it is and it's still here. You just see some of the murals there. Not a whole lot left. So you can just see on the back of these window shutters that used to have the mural. You can just see a little bit of it left. Yeah, it's a shame that the uh, winds of uh, or the sands of time just tear stuff like this up. So this one here is a new Buddha, the one that's sitting right here, and that's the old one in the back. Yeah, very nice. So the temple is not too far from the river. They have quite a few of these little canals and stuff here. Back here, these are uh, like the monks area. And a lot of the, like the lady monks will come over, the novice monks and stuff, people will come and they'll spend like three or four days here They'll meditate and it'll, it's kind of like a little pilgrimage they do. And then there's a building over here that is uh, for, uh, it was built by Rama III. So we're gonna look at that after we can get into this little hall. And you can see the styling on it. So this is Tonebury era and it's built in the Ayutthaya style. And it's not like overly ornate, like you see like the Bangkok style will just have stuff all around it. It's a lot simpler. And it has a front and a back porch. And we'll go. This is the new ordination hall. And this is uh, Bangkok styling. So you can see the differences between that old one and this one right here. Just the amount of stuff that they put over like the windows. They change up so much and they just add a lot more like uh, more grander, I guess you could say, to the, uh, the new halls. And then they do a different tiered roof yeah, this is nice. So they have uh, elephants and stuff like that over the windows. Now this is not as ornate as what you would see nowadays. They just uh, really pile on all of this stuff. And then over here, these are the marker stones, the Bua Sima they call them. And this is what marks off the ordination hall. So there'll be eight of them around the hall. And then there'll be one buried underneath the main Buddha. 
inside. All around the little hall here, these are ashes of people that they've cremated at this temple and they've been buried. You can see that one there is broken. A couple of them are broken. But they have their pictures and uh, stuff like that on, on some of them. Okay, so we're out of luck. So this one here, the monk said they cannot open it for us today. They only open it up two times a year and uh, he, won't, he won't open it up for us. So we can't see inside of there. But we got to see the other one, so uh, let's walk around the back of the little temple and see it, and then we'll This go. is kind of funny. You see how many chickens they got out here? Chickens and pigeons every which direction. Now, they, the head monk, the monk over there, he said uh, that not only this temple, but Wat Pak Khet Noi, or uh, one of the, another name of a temple, they also housed the Emerald Buddha over uh, by Pat Kret, and he said that temple is no longer, it's completely gone now. And they have like a Bodai tree in the back. Has a little plaque over there talking about it. Looks like uh, they got some sandbags, so they're worried about the uh, river flooding. And this right here is the Chow Phraya River. So you can see how close it is to the river. This is just on the back side of the temple. And they have a couple uh, tour boats here, the ferries and one that goes to Icon Siam. And then here's the pier, and the water is so high in the Chow Praia. And if you go up that way, that way leads you to Pat Kret and Ko Kret. And then uh, you can see a boat over there. And there's a little ferry boat, and leads you back down to Bangkok that way. Okay, so this right here, they built this little chetty here. It's kind of, kind of interesting as like a Khmer style to, uh, top. But anyway, the other temple that uh, Tek Nek Noi or whatever it was that they housed the Buddha, the Emerald Buddha in also, that that temple is gone. So anyway, this is the main Buddha from that temple and they moved it over here and it's just in this little chetty. And in the other parts of the temple that has to have all the, uh, the normal stuff. It has to have the crematorium, it has to have the wee hands, and it has that uh, over here, it has the quarters for the monks and all this is just the normal stuff, not exciting. All right, everybody, so that finishes up a pretty quick little video over here at Wat Tam Nak Thai. Thought it was pretty interesting, just the, uh, the story of the Emerald Buddha, how they moved it from Vientiane and uh, took it all the way from there, all the way over to Wat Prakau in Bangkok and uh, how Taksin wanted it to be stored here for a short time while they were uh, prepping everything in Bangkok. So it's uh, kind of a cool old building. I was a little disappointed that the monk won't open up the uh, ordination hall, but we got to see one out of two of the old buildings. And uh, other than that, this is a, a simple little temple. It's just kind of a normal one that you see in uh, Thailand. The, the layout of it is, is pretty interesting. They have all the monk quarters up on stilts, and they have like some ponds and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's uh, a cool little place. It's worth, uh, you know, 10 minutes of your time or so if you just happen to be over in this area and it's uh, easy to get to. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, not really worth coming over here unless you're really interested in it like me. So anyway, if you like the video, click like and subscribe and uh, share it with your friends if you would like. If you want to see something different, let me know. If, uh, if you know something more about this, tell me and uh, I'd be happy to, uh, to learn a little bit more. Or if you want to have a question, ask me also and I'll do my best to answer it. So until next time, guys, remember from Natanaburi, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Thank you.